Hey. Hello. What's up? How y'all doing? This is Miss Land. I swear every time I try to make a video. Get out. Shoe fly. I, but I told you I was going to make a video. I don't know why you get mad. I said be quiet. That's my boy. Thank you, Clown Nick and B-May. So I got another Apple phone. I gave my yellow one to my daughter, so she has now a red and yellow one. And now I have a green and a black one. I am an Apple junkie. I got an Apple laptop, Apple phone, just Apple everything. Apple, if I could give me an Apple car, I would have one. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. If I had, if I could get me an Apple car, I would get that too, you know. But anyway, what are you doing? My dog is eating something, probably some candy or chips or something. My baby done left over there. But anyway, today... I would like to talk about my experience with High Royal Demon Marvis. Hail Marvis. He is the doctor for myself and my children. He's the one that I go to at any time that I feel sick, anytime anybody's running a fever, anybody in my family's had any kind of ailments or bladder infections, anything that ha has happened with me, I always go to Marvis. Boer is also a physician. He is also um, expert at um, healing as well. I have yet to go to Boer, but I will one of these days. Right now, I'm stuck on Marvis. I love Marvis. Marvis is amazing. Um, hell, clown neck. Hell, be May again for the phones. <laughs> Apple junkie here. But anyway, um, this is Marvis. Marvis. With Marvis, anytime I've ever petitioned him for something, um, it's always been an emergency. Um, and I've always given my blood, you know, public proclamation. Um, and that was it to heal me or and or my children because he's the one. Marvis is the one who made sure that me and my kids didn't get full blown COVID when we had it um, back in August, September-ish of last year, because we both, we all caught um, COVID. Um, my daughter also had to have um, an ovarian cyst the size of a melon removed from her, her um, fallopian tubes and then a tiny one from her other fallopian tube and um, they didn't have to take any of her lady parts, you know what I'm saying, her fallopian tube. They didn't have to take anything um, or her ovaries. They didn't have to remove those. She kept, she has all of her, you know, womb equipment, um, if you will. But um, I, I summoned Marbus after we found out um, that... Um, we had COVID and my daughter had to go and have emergency surgery. So during that time, everybody knows that we couldn't go to the hospital and be sitting up there with anybody that kids, even kids by themselves had to be in the room. Parents had to be one at a time. In my case, I could not be with my daughter at all because I have a three year old son. So me being the witch that I am and me being the, um, evocation queen <laughs> put myself on the back um, my daughter's in the hospital I call on Marbus and Lucifer I call on Lucifer for protection you know during this trying time during this crisis our health is you know not up to par we're both all three of us were sick my daughter had to have surgery and it was it was just we was just getting slammed um, it was ridiculous um, upon moving. Um, 
when I called on Marbus to help heal my daughter. I asked Marvis to give her a speedy recovery, to guide the surgeon's hands to make sure that they only took out what was needed and never and not to replace anything that is not of her body. I asked Marvis to um make sure that she kept her lady parts, her you know, her reproductive system. I asked that he would ensure that she had a safe surgery and had speedy healing. So, um after all that, I wept, I cried, I was scared, I was alone, I, we were sick, um, we had just moved in and was going through the dark night of the soul and, and I was, you know, lonely and I was scared and I was distraught. I had no clue what I was doing, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know where to turn to, but, you know, Lucifer and Legion got me through that, um, and they're still getting me through it, um, so her surgery um, she had immediate surgery upon being in the emergency room um, for damn near six to seven hours. Um, they took her downtown to the children's hospital. They gave her immediate surgery. Um, um, we had no health insurance at that time because we had just moved. Um, so they gave her on-the-spot surgery, Hail Lucifer. Um, um, Marbus. I asked him to be with her and all those things. And after her surgery, she healed just like that. She has not one scar. You can't even tell that she has a scar. She, you can't even tell she had surgery. You can't tell. <laughs> I got a work phone, work phone, and a private phone. <laughs> but anyway, um, you can't even tell that she had surgery. Cause, um, they said that her healing process was going to take a month and a half, but she healed within a week because of Marvis. Within a week. They gave her a month and a half for a complete healing. Marvis healed her within a week. There's no scar. She didn't have any pain. I mean, she had pain right after surgery, you know, that normal after surgery pain. But the scars and the pain and all that went away within a week. I was giving her Motrin. She didn't need anything other than Motrin. Um, ibuprofen. Not the the um, heavy pharmaceuticals, you know, like uh, Percocet and stuff like that. Hydrocodone or, or whatever, you know. I don't take meds. I don't, I'm not, I don't get sick like that because of Marvis. Um... But the most um, over-the-counter drug that I was giving her and the doctor recommended was Motrin or Tylenol. So I gave her Motrin, ibuprofen, anti-inflammatory is what Motrin does. Um, <clears throat> she healed within a week. She was fine. Um, but to be on the safe side, because she wasn't allowed to pick up anything over five pounds, um, but to be on the safe side, I made sure she didn't do too, too much. Although I have faith in Marvis, I also, as a human, as a mother, my motherly instinct said, don't let her do too much. You know, don't don't let her pick up anything, follow the doctor's orders, and still have faith in Marvis. So I did. You know, she healed within a week. She didn't have to take meds. Um, but for three days, her pain went away within three, three to four days. I say, I give it four days. Um, Marvis truly heals and mends. Um, and then my other, my own personal, um, aside from having COVID, um, was when I had a bladder infection. This was a couple months back. I had a bladder infection. Um, I was bleeding, you know, abnormally. Like, I, I don't never bleed abnormally. I only bleed when I'm coming to my period. And I was having, like, spasms in my bladder. And I was like, what's going on? What's wrong with me? Or it could have been my uterus. Who knows? Because the bladder and the uterus is right there next to each other. So I was bleeding. And I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on. So I gave it a couple of days. Um, drunk plenty of water. It didn't help. So I went to Marvis. And I said, Marvis, can you please, you know, I, I did my evocation. I gave him my blood offering. 
And I said, Marvis, I'm bleeding. You know, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if it's a bladder infection. I don't know. Can you please heal me? Can you make the bleeding stop and mend my, my, my uterus and my bladder or whatever it was that was going on at that time? And after evocation, I, I think maybe that same day, or the day after, because once I do evocation, I let the I just let it go. I don't hold on to it. Um, once I do it, it's over. It is gone. I release it to them, and um, that's that. So I I did my evocation. I believe it was like a day or so afterwards, or the same day. I don't remember, but I heard a whisper in my ear to drink more water. I was already drinking water, but I wasn't drinking enough to flush whatever was going on with my uterus or my bladder. It had to have been my bladder for me to have to drink more water. So I was drinking more water. I drank more water than normal. See, I drink <laughs> bougie water, Fiji, and um, core water and Voss water. So I was drinking maybe four or five of these a day instead of my usual one or two. So by day, I say by day four or five, the bleeding stopped, the cramping went away, <clears throat> and I was fine. I don't go to the doctor. I don't need to. I got demons. But I would not advise anyone who does not understand or does not know how to do evocation properly or even understand how to build <clears throat> a relationship with the Legion, period. I would not advise you to do what I do unless you have complete and total trust in the Legion. And the only way you can get that trust is through trusting Lucifer first. Because if you can trust Lucifer, you can trust his legion. They're on the same team. So, anytime I have any issues, I go to Marvis. Um, Marvis is expert also, not only in healing, um, <clears throat> but um, he does glamour work. He likes um, blood, sexual fluids, black burning candles, frankincense. And um, pine, pine smell. Um, he can heal very well. Um, he's expert in glamour. If you want to find out more about Marvis, if you've been, um, if you have been appropriately and properly doing your evocations, I suggest you go find out about him yourself and talk to him yourself. Um, <clears throat> so that way you'll have a connection, a true connection, without somebody having to tell you. See, I sought this out on my own. I didn't go and ask nobody. I asked Lucifer for help first. It was never based off of the pact that I made in 2011. Then in 2019, 2020, I gained full access to all the Legion, all Legion. So... Depending on where your status is with Lucifer, it depends on whether or not you're going to be able to contact any one of his family members. Hail Marvis. This is to honor Marvis. He does amazing work. He's an awesome demon. And I love him. I love all my legion. I love all legion. I love all my demons. I love them all. They're amazing. So this one is for... High Royal Demon Marbus, who has healed me and my family time and time again, who has also healed, oh, I got a story about this, oh, I forgot, my ex-husband, my oldest two sons' father, my first husband, got sick, extremely sick. My son sent me um, a text message telling me that his dad was in the hospital. He had lost literally 20 pounds seemingly overnight and was having vertigo and was having all kinds of, um, he was, like the shakes and sweats. And I was like, what's wrong with him? What happened? So um, they said they didn't know. They didn't know what happened. 
my um my son he knows I'm a professional witch. He told he comes tells me, I want to spend more time with my dad. I want to have my dad longer. Can um what can you do? And I told him I'll just go and summon a demon and heal your dad so you can have him for a longer time. And that's what I did. Within I say a week to two weeks, he was back up on his feet driving trucks. <laughs> me and me a truck driver. My first husband's a truck driver too. Second husband's a truck driver. <laughs> oh boy. But um healed him up. Now he's on his feet doing what he do best. Driving trucks and providing for my two boys. So yes, Marvis is an amazing demon to work with. As with any of the other high royal demons. Um, as I stated, if you want to know more about Marvis, go to him yourself. If anybody is interested in doing demonic evocation course work, let me know. Because I'm still not sure if I'm going to do it. Um, it depends on how many people come and how many people join. Um, this is high magic. I'm not a cheap witch. I don't do $55 nothing. <laughs> it's going to be $100 and up if I decide to. Um, high magic, high pay. I value myself. I know my power, I know my strength, and so does Lucifer and the Legion. They're very familiar with me and I them. So um, I value myself. I value my power. I value my strength and my ability. So naturally... I'm going to pay, you know, or ask for what I deserve and what I'm worth, and which is far more than what I'm charging. I'm worth far more than what I'm charging. <laughs> um, I'm very valuable. I see my own value. But anyhow, um, this one was to honor Marvis. This video was to honor Marvis and to give thanks to him for his continued assistance um, and continued um, love and healing power in me and my children's lives. Um, and I'm very grateful for him. I am. Um, I honor him and I praise him right now. Hail Marvis. Hail Marvis. Hail Marvis. I thank you so much for all you've done for me. Thank you for healing me and my children. Thank you for taking care of us and watching over us. Um, thank you for giving us, a, you know, life and keeping us healthy and whole. Um, and I sleep with <laughs> demons by my bed. So, <laughs> oh boy, that's marvelous. That's marvelous. So, <laughs> I hope that you all have a marvelous day. That's beers, but but anyway, and that's raw. But anyhow, I hope that you all have a marvelous day. Marvelous day. Marvelous day. Um, not going to the pool today. I don't want to itch. My chest finally cleared up. It's not itching. I got tan lines. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I got something stuck on my laptop. I'm not sure about this evocation course. Depending on how many people want to join. How many people are truly interested in evocation and building a true relationship with Lucifer. I'm going to go based off of that. Um, and... <clears throat> How I would know is if y'all put it in the comments, I'm interested, or if y'all give me emails, I'm interested, illumasense at gmail.com, um, and I'll start making plans and um, schematics to um, build a demonic evocation course. Um, that's the only way I'm going to do it if I'm not getting enough people um who really want to, who really have a passion of 
high magic, learning, growth, change, transformation, transmutation, mental alchemy, and and mind mastery, self mastery. Um, I'm not gonna do it. That's what the Legion would do. If you don't have a passion and a love for something, they don't they don't give it to you because it's not something that you have a burning desire for. And I work the same way they do. <laughs> Demonic magic is as simple as it gets. It's high magic and it's simple. It's very potent. People are expecting for it to be some kind of complicated thing. And it's not. People overcomplicate every fucking thing. And it's ridiculous. But um, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. I can just see my fat self. <laughs> my thick ass self sitting over here on my bed. But, um. Titty sitting in my lap. Look at this. Titties just sitting, just sitting. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Hail Lucifer, hail Legion. Thank you, Marbus.